this is nishtha from scholar strategy and today we have with us aman sharma he has gotten a great admit at cmu ms in software engineering program at the pittsburgh campus so i'm going to ask him how he was able to, to do that and let's get right into it i will first begin with the profile let's understand what your profile is like for the benefit of our uh, viewers okay so i did my graduation from um, the iit mesna so bill institute of technology it's uh, in rachi and i passed out in 2019 and i did in computer science and engineering uh, so my gpa was 8.23 so in iit okay. mesna the uh, gpa is a bit tough side because it's not relative it's absolute so it's a bit tough to score there yeah yeah i was there in top 10% of my class okay Okay. Yeah. And did you take GRE? What was your score? Yeah, I took I took GRE. Uh, my score was three hundred fourteen. Uh, if I go for the bifurcation, uh, my quant section was one sixty eight, and my verbal was one sixty six or one forty six. Sorry, and okay. my AWO was three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, how strong were your projects from software engineering or computer science perspective? Okay. So I had multiple projects which I did in my college. so mm -hmm. some were regarding full stack development uh, where i created a full stack blogging application in ror ruby on rails so that was uh, that gave me a very good benefit when i joined oyo uh, and apart from that i was also a good competitive coder so that gave me a better uh, perspective how to write programs how to write algorithms and it used which data structures so i had had that knowledge and apart from that i also did some projects in data science um, in basically machine learning uh, in r so those were my okay. projects and my final year project was also in uh was regarding machine learning only sentimental analysis of data data set so that was under my professor in my college yeah so these Got are it. my uh, overview about that. right and how uh, what, what's your work experience like my current work experience is 3 years almost 3 years so i joined oyo in 2018 as an intern december 2018 then started uh, working full time in may 2019 since then i have been associated with oyo I started with software development uh, as a fresher and moved on to become a senior software developer. Then uh, later on, took as a uh, took the management position. So currently, I'm working as a senior uh, as an engineering manager. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and your work experience projects were also pretty relevant to software engineering. You would say. Yes. Yes. So all my projects are relevant to software engineering. I was given opportunity to build software from scratch. That uh, that's very crucial here. So okay. I built many services from scratch. Two to three projects are uh, there in Oyo, which are used in multiple geographies. Okay. So to summarize, eight plus GPA, uh, GRE score was okayish, uh, and hmm. projects were good, good and technical. And of course, you come from Bits Ranchi, which is always like a good brand. right yeah yes. and and yes. three years of work experience at a yes. at a company as big as oyo okay yeah got it Let, let's talk now about like you know what kind of programs were you applying for because cmu has lot of specialization specialized programs right they have mis even in data science they have mcds then they have ms in i think the ms in ai is a separate program then ms in software yes. engineering So, Robotics. anything specific? Like, why were you looking for this very program? Yeah. So, as I told, I did my research, uh, and I went through the curriculum of this program, and I was totally al aligned on that. Yes, this is my program because this is what I'm doing right now, and this is what excites me. And the program will really help me in getting around uh, and. to the next uh, next level the kind career, of opportunities or jobs so, that you are looking for okay Operating. and even there are okay. mentors from the industry okay there are mentors I from see. the industry that really help you okay that's great to know so so uh, of course this is cmu software engineering program what other majors were you targeting uh, so i was mostly targeting about around professional master courses uh, and specifically in soft, the field of software engineering uh, so So I applied for like in UC Irvine, there is a particular course for master's in software engineering. I applied that there. Uh, similarly, in UI UC, there is a MCS program, uh, like yes. master's in computer science. That's non-thesis based and mostly on your project uh, work. So I applied there also. I also applied to Northeastern University because of the uh, amazing co-op program they have. So right. I was mostly looking for programs which are more uh, project based or more industry based. 
rather than more research based so these were the all uh, the programs i applied to got it so mostly cs and sc kind of programs did you apply yeah. to any ms and it kind of programs as well no no uh, my sole focus was ms and cs or ms in software engineering okay uh, and let's just discuss the timeline a bit before we dive into the details like when when did you start preparing when did you apply when did you hear back from cmu so i started working on my sops in uh, mid of october after my gre and i gave specifically a uh, different uh, time for my cmu sop because the cmu sop is kind of different from other sops so okay. i but in general i started in october okay so i applied uh, for the cm in december in the first week of december and i started preparing specifically for december uh, like in november only so i took almost a month to build my profile for cmu uh, and this includes my uh, video interview also which we can talk later sure. and i heard back from cmu uh, last week uh, like in mid march okay so let's talk about the sop since we have brought up the subject anyway so how did you approach the sop how long did it take and what is different about cmu sop okay so if we talk about a general sop uh, we try to highlight all our uh, technical skills what projects we have done uh, and mostly on what we have achieved in a particular project right but in uh, and what are our goals after the uh, ms is completed but specifically in cmu they wanted to uh, understand how good you are as a uh, as a professional as a working professional so they wanted to uh, they assume that you are working in an industry and you know basic uh, ideas of what software engineering is how you code and they want you to teach some other aspects which helps you to go to another level like take a manager position or senior uh, software engineering position so they need, uh, so here i need to uh, talk about my extracurricular activities like uh some leadership roles are which i did in my college like i was the vice president of ieee club in my college uh i did many uh i organized the uh, the fest of my college the hacka- hackathon so there i mentioned that also apart from that they wanted to know if there are some uh, managerial skills which i uh, showcase any of one of my projects so i needed to write about that also uh and how good are you as a team player so everyone is good in themselves but how good you uh, work with the team how are you able to uh, uh, stick to timelines so they wanted to understand if there is any project which you did in a team what was your role how you contributed what was the final outcome and what were the challenges in that particular team play so these were the other aspects which cma sop wants from other sop and they also wanted uh, they also want to know what are your long term and short term goals both so they want they want you they want that you, you should tell them that after 7 years i'm looking at this career path we are basically saying that of course we create a generic sop and we might be talking about some of these things but cmu specifically values these things and it also sounds like they are targeting professionals right so the professional yeah. with some kind of experience and they want to see that thing in the sop so you made sure that you emphasized those things in the sop correct Got it. yes yes got it okay um how much so this is pretty so for cmu it it gets pretty customized this way but let's also talk about this the why this university paragraph that we write in every sop for that yeah. how much how much homework did you di- did and what kind of things did you mention about cmu in your sop okay so for why this university first of all i uh, went to the website uh, what all courses they are uh, offering in this particular program uh, what is the alma network where are they working are they uh, are they in line with my my passion also then apart from that what all facilities are there in the uh, colleges which i can benefit from and at the last i also did a deep research about uh, professors which are present and what all professors i can work with so this is a uh, thorough homework which i did for cmu right and we have to show a good fit with the with the program through these yes. things got it let's let's talk about lors right now so i took three lors two were academic and one was professional so for the professional lor i had a very good rapport with uh, the director of engineering at my company so he gave me a lor uh, that was a mixture of both my 
software skills as well as my manual skills so he talked about all these stuff in the lor uh, my uh, academic lor were mostly focused on my research skills and my leadership skills which i showed in my in the uh, when i was in college like i took one from hod and she knew okay. that i was a part of many fest and i organized okay. many uh, particular competitions for the colleges so she wrote about that and the last lor was of my project mentor under whom okay. i did my um, with my final year project the final year project okay did you have any yeah. papers or any research publications no there is no, no research paper and, and it's not no. even required for these kind of programs right they are more professional oriented programs yeah yes it's a optional part in the sop guideline it's a okay. optional part if you have you can mention you so can they want it. you to they want you should mention awards or some other uh, other achievement you have okay accomplishments they like to see okay yeah. got it got yeah. it let's talk about the interview you said there was also a interview at the time of application can you talk a little mm. bit about like what was that like what were what did they ask okay so the there was a video interview this was a part of the application only uh, so there were three different questions and we need to choose any one question and speak about that for 3 minutes so i chose uh, a question which where i need to talk about my leadership skills uh so given a scenario uh, they wanted me to explain a scenario where not only i solved a technical solution but i also managed the overall situation and how it was challenging and what steps i took to uh, to overcome those challenges so uh, it was my luck that i got a opportunity to work with the ceo of the company so i uh, i explained that particular scenario uh, both the technical how i built a project plan how i overcome the business uh, business problems how i built um, work with the product team and the senior leadership to come up with the overall plan and how i overcome the obstacles so that was one video interview which i shot for cnn so it's a okay. three minute interview 3 minute and it's a automated kind of interview right there is no person in there there is no live interview no. No. And so, any so, tips for this? Like, did had you done any homework? Did you already know what kind of questions to expect? So yes, uh, when you submit your application, there are three questions which are already present, and you okay. need to choose any one of the question. So okay, so before you submitting can, my you can beforehand choose the question you want to uh, yeah. answer in the video interview. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Any other tips like uh, for for the video interview? What do you think they are trying to look for? so they want uh, so as i told they want professionals so they want to understand like what stands you apart from a normal software engineer okay so they want to like uh, look into that scenario and they want to know that everyone anyone can be good at paper they can write a good sop but how good right. are you in uh, communicating to the uh, other persons out there so they want to uh, check that also uh so yes these are the so your personality you... and your ability yeah. to communicate and as i often say i think with these interviews they are just trying to put a face on to your application correct, so, correct right right so is it tough to prepare for that how how long did you uh, take to record that one okay so uh, it's not tough but you should have the points to talk about and it should be articulated it's like it's a 3 minute interview rounds right mm. so there can be a big story which you want to tell but you should know how to tell that in 3 minutes Yeah. So I started preparing uh, a week back, I would say. So okay. I I uh, took all the points. I wrote down all my story, like how should I present my particular interview, and practice in front of camera multiple right. times. Look right. where I was lagging, and right. what was my speed? Uh, because speed also matters. If right. you are too quick, they won't understand. And right. I also made sure that that's the admission committee. Uh, they look into my details also. so yeah. i made sure that everything is well explained in the interview so i did that homework before submitting the final interview okay. uh, final video yeah interview. so i would say that maybe applicants look at look at it as rather than a interview it's like a video it's a recorded video to see your personality yeah, yeah. Correct. okay makes yes. sense let's talk about cmu so is of course one of the expensive schools right so hmm. how uh, uh, how much is the fee how are you planning the finances any tips there is there any possibility of scholarship uh so uh, i always had a mind that i will go to uh, for my higher studies so mm. i was always sorted about my finances mm. uh so uh, i won't be take, uh, so i am 
I have the savings with me. You have your uh, savings. If I talk about yeah, if I talk about CMU, the current uh, course fees or the overall fees which yeah. I got from the college is like ninety five thousand uh, dollars. Okay. Okay. So I would be using my savings and my family funds to go around, and okay. I didn't. Uh, uh, research uh, much about all those scholarships which are present, but they are okay. really beneficial if someone is looking around for. Okay, okay. So maybe I'll catch up with you in a later interview and ask you about the life at CMU and what are some ways yeah. in which people are supporting themselves. Okay. Yes, correct. Yes. All right. So, uh, and how long is the program? Is it one year, two years? It's one point five years. One point five. So you will get to do an internship. Yeah. So. Final third semester is a studio project wherein you are given a problem statement and you need to go through the problem statement, come with the requirement gathering and build a full project from scratch. So I saw some, I talked with some alumni and saw some videos over YouTube. So there are many, uh, many departments in the uh, institute which give them a problem statement to solve. Like here is a problem statement, go, go ahead and build a studio project. So that is a th uh, the final project. And apart from that, I can do some internship. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. That was very helpful. And in the end, I'm just going to ask you, since you have been working with Scholar Strategy, what was uh, like, what do you think was the biggest help you were able to get from our side and any, any feedback you want to share? Yeah, sure. So uh, I, started, uh, I started applying for the colleges. I had no idea how to write SOP. Uh, so I had gone through the uh, online examples or the present over the internet, but I had the points I know, uh, but I didn't know how to explain it or how to express my express my points to the admission committee, because I was uh, from a more technical background. So right. really, uh, so what scholar strategy helped me with was that they um, evaluated my profile, uh, evaluated how I am doing, what are my key areas which I should highlight in my SOP. And how to draft up a, a whole SOP in a story point of view, so that a particular uh, ad com committee they can they can uh, they can comprehend it what you have done, and in a story point of view, so that that was really helpful for me because I knew okay. that if I had not taken scholar strategy, this was not possible. This was no, not no, possible. no, that's absolutely not true. But but I've maybe mm. like you know uh, we were able to save some time and. Uh, help you put the best foot forward, but like, uh, yeah. okay. So you found the most value in those SOP calls we did and the SOP reviews. Yeah. And right now uh, we are also working on the internship master, uh, master yeah. classes. So yeah. That's also really helpful. Uh, okay. So I was seeing my LinkedIn profile after the, uh, your call yeah. and I got really some really good points to work upon. Okay. So okay. I'm working that's, upon that. That's uh, great to know. Cool, Aman. Yes. So I think that was very helpful. Anything else? Any parting advice or tips for applicants who are interested in this particular program, CMU? Yeah. So particularly for CMU, as I told that they are not looking for a fresher. Uh, I would say for fresher, there's okay. a separate program together. MSc for scalable systems, etc. They are okay. for uh, one with less than one year of experience. So if you have the uh, if you have projects like uh, the good projects which you have done from scratch and apart from that you also have some team skills right and you have worked as a manager or something other else then you should really apply but one thing i should or i will say that this is a different sop as compared to other sops and as i told i took almost a month to prepare this sop before submitting so okay you need to prepare the points uh, so for don't just copy SOP. paste your other sops here you really need to think Correct of this from scratch okay yes yes yeah thank you thank yes. you so much aman for joining us wish you the best and hoping to hear back from you as you crack great internships and all those things and for our audience i think yeah. uh, please feel free to connect with aman on the linkedin and uh, if you have any questions for him post in the comments and i'll make sure that we share his advice thank you so much aman